In this video, I want to talk about the theta of an option portfolio. Now, the theta of the option portfolio is the change in the value of the portfolio as time passes. Theta is typically quoted as the change in the value of a portfolio as time goes forward a day. Very often one will say, okay, if it's Friday today, then we'll talk about the theta on our portfolio as being the change of the value of that portfolio over the weekend until Monday. But so let's talk first about some motivation here. If we go back and book our trades, let's book a thousand options. We're going to buy a thousand call options, strike of a hundred, maturity one year at the fair value. We're going to put our hedge in, put our delta hedge in, negative 636 shares. Just for completeness, since we're talking about the passage of time, I'm going to borrow the money required to put this position on for a year. So I've got no cash sitting around my spreadsheet. We look at our chart and we get this classic smile. Market goes down, we make money. The market goes up, we make money. And this is a nice, seems like a nice position. If we turn the position on its head, we sell a thousand options, call options, strike of a hundred, maturity one year at the fair value. We delta hedge by buying 636 shares. We deal with our cash. Let's borrow that cash for a year. We look at our chart. It's flipped the chart. Now we lose money whether the market moves go, goes up or down. And this doesn't seem like as nice a position as the being long. But of course, we've traded these options at the fair value, which means that we should be indifferent as to whether we go long or short. And the piece of the puzzle that we're missing is the theta. So the theta is quoted here, $10.29 meaning that if this is our position and nothing happens except one day goes by, we should make $10.29. So let's just check. Our starting date is the 20th of April. We move this to the 21st of April and we make $10.29. So that's what our theta is. How much money do we make for the passage of time? Now, the way that theta works is that there is a relationship. There's a relationship between gamma and theta. And the relationship is easiest to think about in the situation where we have a delta hedged portfolio with present value zero. In that situation, the relationship is strictly the theta of our portfolio is equal to negative one half volatility squared spot squared times the gamma. If we remember the gamma that we're short options right now, the gamma here is negative. We can see it here, negative 1785, which means the theta is positive, 1029. What this is really saying, everything's fair, we should make $10.29 through the passage of time if one day goes by. When we delta hedge, if we look at our portfolio value, when we delta hedge, every time the market moves, we lose a little bit of money. How much money do we expect to lose today? About $10.29. How much money do we expect to make through the passage of time? $10.29. Effectively, we become indifferent, assuming we follow the black scholes merton model and everything happens according to that model. We should be indifferent to whether we're long or short. If we're long the options, we make about $10.29 through our hedging of the delta. We have to rebalance our hedges of the delta because we have gamma. Passage of time happens. A day goes by. We lose $10.29. So basically during the day, our present value got bigger and bigger. Eventually it's $10.29. Go to bed, wake up tomorrow morning. 
the $10.29 is gone, and we start all over again. Now, in practice, that's not how Black-Scholes Merton should work because this should be continuous throughout the day, all the time. Basically, the present value should always be zero. We're always rebalancing our hedge. We're always losing a little bit of money from theta. We're always making a little bit of money from the, the hedging strategy, net zero. Of course, here, we're short the options. We make money from theta. We lose it from our delta hedging. Every time we rebalance a delta hedge, we lock in a little loss. That should be offset by the theta. So basically, the missing piece in our picture is our theta. And theta is connected through this theta equals negative one-half volatility squared S squared times gamma. But the intuition should be theta is the opposite of gamma. Theta is how much money, money we make or lose holding our position for a day. And theta should be a pretty good approximation to the money we expect to make or lose from our gamma.